Radio Hereford FC, the only station with full match commentaries of the Bulls, every game, every week. Hello again and welcome to We're Going Down the Pub with me, Frank Williams, and the evergreen, ever vessel, oh, ever useful, like that. Thank you. ever present, Mr. Simon Wright. Thank you, ever so, goodness me. We're going to look at the Basing Stoke. Yeah, I love yeah. that name, Basing Stoke. Mm. It reeks of the Industrial Revolution, but it shouldn't, should it really? No. It's just the name yeah. feels steam engine-ish to me. Oh, it's it's the, it was the Stoker, you know, Basing Stoke. Stoke. It sounds as if it should oh, be, right, but it's not. It's, it's no, not. No, no, nothing like it. No, and we have to thank Adam, Adam Williams. Williams. Yes, yeah. I, now, as far as I know, I think this is the first one that Adam has done for us, and thank you, Adam, for doing such a good job. And he's done it, Short of course, notice. because he lives Looks very close, close to it. it. Yeah, I think he has been yeah. to games, which is all rather good. Uh, um, well, it does help if you don't do a guide on a club, yeah, if you've actually been there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me say a bit about Basingstoke, first of all. Cause as a town? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Largest town in Hampshire. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, Southampton's, Southampton's the city, isn't it? So, uh, and yeah, uh, Portsmouth is the city. You got away with that. Yeah, yeah and yeah. Bournemouth is now in Dorset, yeah. apparently, so it's the really? largest town. Yeah. And Gosport isn't. No, no, no. It's a suburb, really, isn't it? It's a mighty big place, as yeah. I'll explain in a minute. It's, yeah. it's it is one of, stuff. it's actually one of our nearer trips, surprisingly enough. Really? Uh, yeah, it's a hundred. Well, from from the Shire, from right. the back country, it's rather further. But it's um, from from Hereford. It's 107 or 117 miles, depending on whether you like speed or economy. Right. <laughs> Two different routes as usual. Now, apparently, it's often named Donut City, which doesn't sound very flattering, no. or Roundabout City. Ah, is that because of round donuts? Or what? Yeah. Oh, so it's a, it's a bit of the in Swindon the, of the South. It's a bit of a Milton Keynes or a Milton Swindon. Yeah, 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 very much so. Yeah. Population since 1971 has doubled to 113,000. 113, yeah, that's twice the size of Hereford. It is. Isn't it it yeah. is one of the biggest places we right. go, really. Yeah. Now, yeah, very interesting. This, in the centre of Basingstoke, standing mm. very tall, yes. is Willy. Willy. Mm. Is that? Sorry, is that some sort of oh. fish or a dolphin or a whale or? Well, I wish it was actually. Yeah. This a Willy is the heaviest sculpture of a male organ on public display in the UK. I mean, fancy that, seven tons. That's a lot of male organ, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I, I'm absolutely. You're gobsmacked at this I point. Am. <laughs> I haven't actually thought of a witty response <laughs> to that. I was pissed off to go and take a I think, uh, Well, that's, I that's the right really. conversation But we won't stop, be allowed yeah. to put them up on the net. Oh, gosh. Otherwise, we'll probably get done exactly, for yeah. indecent images or something. Well, right. I mean, I do... Really? So they've got, basically, they've got a huge willy yeah. as a sculpture. Yeah. <laughs> Who on earth would have commissioned that? Yeah, well, you have to ask. <laughs> you have to ask. <laughs> there were some questions when it when it was up in yeah. uh, an erect place. And the big place, one yeah. is, yeah, why? Yeah, why seven, would you seven want tons of male a organ. seven ton sculpture <laughs> of a male organ in the centre yeah. of your? Indeed. I mean, it just. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's unbelievable. It is, uh, anyway, isn't it? We'll yeah. think about that when we'll we go ponder on. on that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I read that Christine Williams was born in the town. You may not be familiar with it, and me neither, but I'm apparently yeah. she's a former Playboy centrefold. Oh, well, that's where it's come from then. Yeah, that's, oh, well, that's where the Williams come from, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm a bit mindful now that we'd better move on to the football before Mr Hall starts censoring. You <laughs> he know. hasn't censored us <laughs> for two years. Has he not? No, I probably haven't listened to him for two yeah, years. Yeah, probably right, yeah. Right. Should we just throw him flesh box just to get really annoyed no. then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> basic okay. soap flesh spots. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah, the, the club. The club. The club. Yeah, our hosts um, that day are frankly in a bit of a mess. Well, they're not the first ones we've come across. This no, year, no. This is this is a, a little nasty, really. The chairman and owner Rafi Razak wants the money back that he's put into the club, so he's going to sell their ground. Oh. Um, the Cambros. Yeah, does he own it? He owns. He owns. He owns the club and the right. ground. Yeah. Um, the Camrose, a fine old place, been there since 1945, and named after Lord Camrose, who gave them the ground in the first place. Now, understandably, supporters are a bit brassed off about that, and many are boycotting. 
you know, attendance has dropped by 25%, down to 300. So normally they would get 400 then? Yeah. Right 400, okay. And, you know, 300 in a town of 113,000 oh, people, you know, talk about... That is a mess, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Right. They've, um, Basingstoke have agreed with Hampshire FA to share their ground at Winkleberry, which is like a suburb. Right. But the ground isn't Step 3 rated, so they're going to need expensive upgrades. And um, it's thought necessary to have a 4G pitch as well. Um, once Razak sells, the club will become community owned and they've got a six man committee in place right, to so take over. So, when he sells the club, they will have to move. They will have to move. And they've, they've already found out where they're moving. Yeah, but, but they've got to find the a lot of money. moving to yeah. doesn't have the same no. facilities. No, it's a step five sort of status. They are in deep. Yeah. Turmoil. And you know, this is against the background of the football club asking supporters to raise twenty thousand pound in January to keep the club going. So this is one that we want to go to, we want to support, mm. we mm. want to spend our money there, we want to help them out as much as we can I think as right. other yep. teams did yep. for us and have done for us and have done for other yep. clubs like Mirtha and so on. Yeah. Yes. It's uh, it's one to go to, folks. Yeah, yes, we'll yeah and give them your support. Yeah, they need it. Yeah, I mean there is a bit of a supporters are boycotting because they say that if they go, their money will go to Razak and not to the football club. But no. it's a difficult. It's a black angle. situation. Then. That's it why is, they're boycotting yeah. black yeah. Yeah. isn't it? Very similar. Oh, that is you know? awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Maybe we can some we'll find some way of filtering our uh, donations yeah. into yeah. You know, if we want to spend money there spend money there but maybe if we're going to make donations make a donation buy beer outside the ground mm. and uh, make a donation when you go in to, uh, yeah, to the church, club is it? Yeah. now you'd Not think good. given what I've just said that the dragons was their nickname they're a bit like Dunstable with no money but it's actually the opposite they're full time you what? Stoke Basing Circle full time professional mm. How on earth they pay them? Well, they don't pay them very much. They're, <laughs> the squad are mainly young players, 18 to 23. They've been sold a dream that training every day on a token wage will make them better players, right. and professional ac club academies have come along oh, and snapped them up. Yeah. Is this a bit like the dream that was sold to the yes, youngsters who came yes, to Yes, yes, that sounds very familiar, doesn't it? The year of the crimps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, and in fairness, a few, I think, Two players, maybe three players, have gone to academies this season from Beijing Stoke, right. so there is something in that. But of course, it's a plan which often, which means constant change. You know, players come in, players going out all the time, and that doesn't sit well with any hopes of being upwardly mobile. You know, moving, get back to step but they two. They have been successful in step yeah. two. I mean, they had eleven seasons in step two. Right. You know, eleven seasons compared to Kings Lynn one. You know, it's yeah. not bad, is it? I mean, three years ago. The Dragons were in the playoffs to get promotion to step one, so they have really fallen down, you know. Right. And these days they're very strictly mid-table, step three, strong at home. Right. They've only lost twice at home. Right, you have to watch out for that, then. Yeah, they don't travel well. OK. OK, um, I said the ground's called the Camrose. Is this the one we couldn't find? No, that's Biggles Way. Oh, I found that. <laughs> oh, no, don't All sell right. me on Biggles yeah, Way, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Camrose is very much out of town, which is a bit of a nuisance. Right, yeah. Um, like so many of our opponents, the town centre is over a mile away, so that is uh, a bit of a nuisance. Um, the ground's got one stand, one seated stand, but it's got 650 seats. Yeah. Uh, it's an impressive one, dominating the pitch, a bit like Weymouth, apparently, right. but with less rust. So is it? <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah. Is, this, is, this go, is, is he going to try and sell it to developers then, you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maximum money basically. Right. Um, but it's close to a sort of retail park, so it may go to a retail, mm. you know. You know, um, three covered terraces. Yeah. Um, I assume they're, 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 they're bigger than holding six each, but there you go. Yeah. One behind the goal at the far end, one just next to the main stand, another opposite the main stand. Now, the claim capacity is 6,000, but nobody, they never got close to that, so who knows. Um, it's one of those clubs where if you want the programme, you can download it from the club site. Oh, they're very successful mm -hmm. at Dunstable. I, I didn't download it, I just had it on my pad and yeah. I'm looking at it during yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah no, that works well, you yeah. know. Uh, and their mission is actually probably slightly expensive, £12 for adults, oh, £8 nice. for concessions, uh, under 16s are free, thankfully. Um, there is a car park at the ground, uh, so one pound to park, but Adam does warn that the surface is very poor and it's not very large.
okay. and it fills up every match day um, so when we're in town it's not going to last long at all you know there is another car park across the dual carriageway at the Brighton Hill retail park if you want to make a note the postcode is RG226 HW, H for Harry, W for something, <laughs> where there is a McDonald's. Wombat. Wombat, that's it, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. RG22, 6HW. There's a McDonald's and a Pizza Hut if you're desperate for cuisine. Um, Adams Park there a few times, never had a problem, so it might be a good place to go. Um, there are residential areas nearby, but it's thought that they will be combed off, so you're probably not going to be getting to them. Um, if you want to do something a bit different, you can park in the town centre and catch the number one bus from the train or the bus station and get off would you see B&Q. That's on the same road as the ground. Right. Clubhouse, uh, we move on to refreshments now. Clubhouse, right, yep. outside the ground. Oh dear, depressing selection of that stuff from Sharps. Uh, well, that would be Doombar. It would, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Gets worse. Worthington. That, which is that stuff yeah. from Worthington, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Yes, Carling. Grolsch, Guinness, Stouffer Press and Magnus. Okay. That's two on too bad. Now, they've really gone to town on the catering. Hot food is available from the large burger van inside the ground, and it's expensive. Right. Now, you know, apparently, if there's a big crowd, they might even get a second burger van in, so, you know, they're really going for it there. I like the way of yeah. in order to ease the indigestion congestion. Congestion, yes. That's very difficult to say. It is. And, and we haven't had a second point yet, so we're no. all right. And that was Adam's phrase, which I like so much. I thought I'd give is it there enough. a nearby pub? Yeah, there's only the one. Right. Uh, depends whether you like harvesters or not. Mm. Um, well, they can have a couple of ales. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. generally have their own in-house, yeah. but it's more yeah. sort of food-led, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's called the Stag and Hounds in Winchester I, Road. I'm trying to wrap my brains now, yeah. to know what brewery it's tied to, Harvester. Is it Green King? I think it might be. So you get the air IPA, which is yeah. all right, if that's the okay. case. Yeah, it's convenient. Only four minutes. Four minutes, good, Winchester yeah. Road, you know. But and, uh, it's a mile into town, isn't it? It is, it is, yeah. But um, couldn't you, therefore... Catch a number, number one bus, catch yeah. a number one outside B&Q and go back into exactly. town. Exactly, yep. yep. Yes. Well, that's solid, right. isn't it? That is. Yeah, I mean, if you're going into town, there's a choice of weather spoons. Two. Two. Right. That's how so, so big the place is, you know. There's the Maidenhead Inn, with seven real ales, or the Angel, which gets by with just three. Well, really of course, good. there were two weather spoons opposite each other at the top end of Stourbridge High Street. Yes. So, you know. Yeah, it does happen, doesn't it? But well, yes, but one was sort yeah. of like, well, they ran as a club, didn't they? Yeah, so Lloyd's number one. Yeah, but that's gone yeah. now, isn't it? Stour's a big place, yeah. you know. A um, few other names. Uh, the Baker's Arms is in the King's Green King pub. Yeah. Um, if you like busy sports pubs, you can try Larson's. And um, we L double A, yeah, uh, Larson, sort of that's Swedish, very Swedish yeah, yeah, yeah. And a couple more names Queen's Arms, where they sell courage and that Doombar stuff. Well, so, do you mean Doombar and the courage to drink it? <laughs> yes, yeah, if that's the choice, you, you drink courage, don't you? <laughs> and uh, the Rising Sun's got three guest beers, but to be I honest, can't, I can't imagine no, that's going into they're town. They're not, for, they're not, yeah. however. Um, if you're going by Reg, and this is jumping around a bit, yeah. if you're going by Reg, Reg is going to have the coach drop off in the town centre, ah. which is rather sensible, yes. and then he's going to pull up at the harvester, so he's covering all the bases, which is right, good okay. on him, very sensible. And they can catch the number one bus for the but, bus station, yeah, or, they can, or the train station, they're going to have a healthy off, walk, couldn't get they? off of b and Exactly, yeah. exactly, right. yeah. And we've touched on Reg. Coach is leaving at 10 o'clock, £15 adults, £10 concessions. That's very good. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it and is. that will include the stop, of course. Yeah, and frankly, you know, the usual problem, if you want to go by rail, it's four hours each way okay, with changes. Exactly. You got Unless, of course. You're a South East Bull. Yeah. You know, direct trains from Waterloo taking under 50 minutes, you know. Well, yeah. But you'll need, um, you'll need uh, that number yeah. one bus. So. That's two miles yeah. from the uh, number one bus or a taxi, if there's a view of you. Yeah. So there you go. So that's, that's doable. That's quite, that's feeding stuff for you. It is, mm. and that's... Uh, well, that was cheap and cheerful. Yep. But uh, we look forward to that. And we've only got a couple more grand yep. guides to do. Which Three, we, I think. So, yeah. Well, that's... It's, Redditch Bishop store for the It's coming on, isn't it? Yeah. It's coming on. The season oh, is okay. building up. And, uh, OK, so yeah. we'll catch up with you again very, very soon for our next instalments. And we wish you well in your supporting of the Bulls over the coming weeks. And we'll be back with you very soon. Bye for
This is Radio Hereford FC, the home of the Bulls. Match Day Live. 